It's okay. All players face the adjustment of playing on the much bigger stage of college football, but it seems like Justin Combs should be ready for the bright lights. After all, he's the son of hip-hop mogul Sean Combs, better known as P. Diddy. Justin making a name for himself on the field, and he's heading to UCLA. Scouts Brandon Huffman sat down with the future Bruin. You know, you've been under the microscope, you're on a television show, obviously everybody knows who your father is. How hard has it been growing up in that setting and then trying to set yourself as your own person, as a football player? Yeah. It's, um, it, it was very challenging trying to um, play football. Some people think it works to my advantage, but it kind of hurts me because they, some coaches and players don't take me seriously. They think I'm just playing just because and stuff like that. So um, one thing it did do is gave me the opportunity to be seen. So people would see me and I would make plays. So. It kind of benefited me. Is he in the game because he's a talented football player? Is he in the game because he's Sean Combs' son? How do you answer that question? You know, I, I laugh at that. People ask me all the time, why is he in the game? Uh, he's in the game because he's a competitor, because he hits hard, because he covers extremely well, and obviously a number of colleges have figured it out. Uh, he's a guy that can play football. I don't care who his dad is. Justin has, a, has brought so much leadership to the field in a way. He's, he's, he doesn't give up. Like, we've been down in games. And he's come to the coach and said, Coach, give me the ball. Give me a chance to make a play. Give me a chance. So it, it, he, he does it by, by example. He leads by example. You know, you had offers from all over the country, yet you chose UCLA. Why does a kid from New York City head to Los Angeles for college? Well, I have family down there. Um, my brothers and sisters live out there. And, um, you know, the program and, like, just the school was just amazing. Like, it was like love at first sight. When I went out there, I was like, I have to be there. Jim Moore was hired after you had already committed. How excited are you to play for a defensive-minded head coach? I'm, I'm very excited, and especially to play for him because he coached uh, the Falcons, and my favorite player was Michael Vick, and I just loved him as a head coach. Justin plays big. He come up, he lays, what we call lays the wood. He, he comes up, and he will throw his body and wrap the guy up. It doesn't matter how big the receiver, how big the running back is, he's bringing him down. He's also an excellent student, a 4.0 student. You know, how has that translated onto the football field? That kid is amazingly smart. Sometimes he knows the scheme before me. <laughs> I walk into the practice on Monday. I've studied all day Sunday. We give it to him Monday afternoon, and he memorizes. Like, he has, like, a, like that memory. Like, he just sees things and memorizes. So he's a, he's a gifted student and a gifted athlete. You know, you have 200,000 Twitter followers. Not a lot of high schoolers have that many people following him and really watching every step you make. You know, are you going to be ready and pre be prepared for what's going to follow you at UCLA where everybody's going to know who you are? Maybe not if Justin Combs a football player, but if Justin Combs, Sean Combs' son. Yeah, um, I'm ready for that. And I'm ready to also make my name as a football player. And I'm ready to just take on that challenge. And I believe in myself. I believe I'm going to put the hard work in this offseason to be known as Justin Combs, not P. Diddy's son, Justin Combs. Thanks, Brandon. Justin Combs, certainly the most famous player to commit to Jim Moore's Bruins, but there's plenty of talent on the way to Westwood. Here's a look at UCLA's top commitments as the Bruins try to bounce back from an eight-loss season. One of Jim Moore's first hires was offensive line coach Adrian Clem. It seems like Clem could be even more important than Westwood for what he could do in recruiting, right? Kids just love this guy, and he will be very important in the recruiting efforts down the stretch. Across town in L.A., Lane Kiffin dealing with the first year of scholarship restrictions at USC. Currently, the recruiting class outside the top 25. Where do you think they're going to end up when it's all said and done? Well, things will be okay for Lane Kiffin and USC fans and USC because the remaining spots left in their class will be filled with four- and five-star players. A lot of these guys wait to commit, but I think the Trojans will be in the top 20 when we're all said and done. Seems like the men of Troy could be in contention for a national championship as soon as next year.